Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial on shader graph. In this tutorial we are going to look at this fade on um, like when you get close to the object it just fades out. Also part of it is showing how to create your own triplanar UV unwrap and you can see that I am unwrapping uh, three different oops three different textures one at the top and and the bottom and one on the left and right and another one on uh, the front and back so let's start by creating a new shader and you can call it fade or whatever you want and it's worth noting that I'm using uh, unity 2019.1 and it's HD uh, render pipeline because uh, the um, the lightweight has a problem with uh, with transparent objects uh, um, drawing the shadows like if there is a shadow between that object it's it's drawn on the object so um, it doesn't look right basically so but you can probably do the same exact shader in there as well uh, can we scale this down no yes okay we will start by a screen position in row and then split that and then here this is the value of how far each face is from the camera so what we need to do is um, let's add a subtract node and a property for the offset drop that in and then a multiply and this is going to be the range of where does the um, the fade starts and this we can clamp it to be between 0 and 1 and connect it to the alpha and obviously we need our object to be transparent and let's check this out let's save this and let's create a material out of this shader So the first thing that you need is that the range is 1, so that we are multiplying by 1, nothing special is happening. And now you can see that when you are getting close, the alpha is present. Now to make this range start before that, you can multiply by something less and you will see that it, now it starts from here and if I want this object to be completely transparent at this um, at this point you can increase your offset and now you will start having the fade from here and it will disappear from here All right. Now, if we want to add any texture, any white and black texture, 
So let's try, for example, the uh, gradient noise and let's uh, let's make it unwrap based on uh, the screen position right to so just connect screen position to the UV and then this clamp we will make it between 0 and 2 because we are going to subtract a value between 0 and 1 from it and then we can clamp it back to 0 and 1 let's connect that save and now you can see there is this texture being applied based on the screen position you can obviously add uh, let's let's actually do that uh, but the thing is now it, it fades and then it disappear you can have that or you can have a step node here so that it's either transparent or not we can have this to 0.5 and let's save that now we can see that it's either opaque or completely transparent now I don't really like <coughs> having this texture uh, unwrapped based on the screen position so I'm gonna unwrap it using a triplanar unwrapping which is um, basically it unwraps based on the position of the mesh itself so it will take three uh, three places which is top and bottom based on uh, the X and the Z and then left and right based on um, the X and Y and then forward backward based on Z and Y so let's uh, there is actually a node uh, if you type in triplanar there is a node which is which unwraps a normal texture using this way um, but we cannot plug these procedural um, nodes into this texture so let's uh, let's remove this and I want to add a tiling and offset and then a property for that just the usual stuff split and create a vector 2 from the X and Y connect that to tiling duplicate the vector 2 connect the rest Z and W to the offset and now let's put the default for tiling to be 1 and 1 and so now we want to use this more than once these four so instead of duplicating them I'm just going to um, convert this to a subgraph uh, let's call it noise sub which will look like this um, and I'm gonna change it a little bit by by the passing of time so we need a position node in world space and then we are going to split this and then we are going to create as I said three vector twos for three unwraps one is uh, one is X and Y one is X and Z and one is 
um, y and z. And then we are double clicking on a subgraph, we'll open it. Uh, we will want to insert a UV here and plug it here and save this and go back to this one. Now you can see you have a UV. Let's plug that in, duplicate, plug the second one in. duplicate, plug the third one, oops, now you can see this is the front face, this is up and down, this is left and right. Right, so we want a value in which it will give us one for for this case for for the top and bottom and zero for the rest and one uh, in this case for the front and back and zero for the rest and so on so to do this we need a normal vector node which is going to be I'm going to split this and um, add the x and y and then add the z for them it doesn't the the, the sequence uh, doesn't matter and then divide the original by this we need also to plug this to the absolute node first so that we have the front and back to be positive and then we can use this so if we split this and then we can multiply each one with its corresponding axis. Y and this is the Z and then we can add all of these together so this is the Voronoi this is the noise and this is the Voronoi but the cells you can have your circles for example in the Voronoi the circles disappear first uh, by simply going to your subshader graph and instead of this or here, just before you connect the output of everything to uh, the subtract of the distance, you can plug it to 1 minus. And then connect that instead. And now, you can see that the circles disappear first. Now you probably won't see any difference in the noise um, but you might see a little bit of difference in the the other Voronoi but not much so that's gonna be it for this tutorial thank you so much for watching
consider to subscribe and like this video if you did and if you want to support me you can check my assets in the asset store the link is in the description have a nice day